Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Cancer. You could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Cancer, please keep in mind that these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles can be reversed. So, you know, take it as it resonates or chuck it in the fucking bucket, right? Um, let's see. What else? So, um, I have to give the messages as they're given to me from spirit. Okay? I have to. So, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear or what you think you want to hear. Um, in order to make a buck off of you. I'm here to deliver the messages in the way that spirit wants me to deliver them. Sometimes they're great, beautiful, inspiring. Sometimes they're they're kind of harsh. Um, and it, sometimes they can be a mixture of everything in between. So please keep that in mind. Um, okay. And sometimes my readings can, can contain warnings in them. But again, I have to give the messages as they're given to me. All right. So let's see what's going on for you in love and life. Spirit, what's going on for cancers in love and life, please, Spirit? Okay. Let me get one more. What else? Okay. <clears throat> okay. You have the temperance in, ver in reverse for the first card that came out. You can't really tell from my camera, but she's, she's, it's a, it's a woman who's drowning and well, maybe she's drowning, but in water upside down. So cancer, you or somebody else is like drowning in some chaotic waters. So waters. The, these waters are not still. They're, they're murky. They're kind of dark. And you're deep within these, these chaotic emotions. You are somebody else. Somebody's really not doing so good. With the moon card here, which is you, Cancer Pisces, and the Ace of Swords, somebody here, their emotions are all like stirred up because they fear the truth. But you see the Ace of Swords here, the, the sword is facing down. It's like a shocking truth, a shocking attack. I don't mean like a literal attack. I mean like, I just heard truth attack. You or somebody else here are literally in these types of chaotic waters, very submerged in emotions. A fear of something changing. You know, this is a lichen. This is a werewolf. They change in the full moon. But this wolf is wielding a dagger. Dipped in truth is what I just heard. A dagger dipped in truth. I don't understand that. Okay. That's some, that's some of the message. Dagger dipped in truth. Could be a shocking truth, a truth attack or something. That's what they're saying. So it's, it, this could be it could be a Sagittarius, you, uh, another Cancer, or Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's emotions. Also, too, we have the solar eclipse and the new moon on the twenty fifth. 
of October. You're okay. There's okay. There's going to be something that I don't know. See, this is timeless, but it could be around that new moon and the solar eclipse that something is going to be very chaotic. Very like this is like topsy turvy type of energy, like completely turning your emotions or somebody else's completely upside down and being dropped all the way in them, like completely submerged in very chaotic, deep, murky water, right? Backed with chaotic and fear. So what does, what, what happens when you back up? Let's say you have a wolf because there's a wolf here, right? Let's say you have a wolf and you back it into a corner. What happens to a wolf in a corner? It attacks right some of you i'm not saying you're going i'm not saying you're going to be attack or anything but some of you are afraid of the truth some of you fear the truth 100% you fear either knowing what the truth is about someone or some of you fear the truth about yourself. I don't know which way it goes. You know, maybe it could go both, you know. Because the next card we have is the devil. We have Black Widow here in the web. The only way to free yourself or for this person, whomever you're dealing with, to free yourself or for them to free themselves is to speak the truth. This could be, I don't know, because of the webbing, could be internet related. doesn't have to be. But cutting yourself out of the devil's web. What is it called? There's a saying. Oh, the webs that we weave when we seek out to deceive. Something like that. Oh, the web that we oh oh the web that that we weave when we set out to, when we seek out to deceive something like that. So some of you are freeing yourself from that type of web of deception from the grip of the devil, right? What is the devil? The father or mother? I don't know. It could be a boy or a girl. I don't know. Maybe it's both. Of lies, right? The truth. Is that something's very toxic. The truth is something's very controlling. The truth is that something was a web of lies. So this is the need to cut yourself out of web of, uh, a web of lies. Either that someone else has spun or cancer or that you have. Because the next card is the four of cups reverse. But this is like something putrid being poured out something vile being released this is like releasing seeing something or releasing like per I have, i'm here and purging so i hope that none of y'all have like god forbid no one has no one has a stomach bug <laughs> you know because i'm getting like someone throwing up i get someone like vomiting like actually vomiting I'm not a doctor. Some of y'all be careful of getting like food poisoning. I don't know why I'm getting that. Be careful of like getting food poisoning. You know, you know, when you get like Cambodian mud butt and bubble guts. And when you when you've eaten something maybe you shouldn't have eaten, or maybe something that you maybe doesn't agree with you and you kind of get sick to your stomach. Something like that. Um, yeah, I got chills. Some of y'all might get just be careful. Make sure whatever you're if you let's say you go out to eat, okay. Make sure that they've cooked the meat properly or something. Okay? Because I get like some of y'all, God forbid, could get actually get like some type of stomach bug. Or like stomach flu, like stomach flu or like a, you know, like, you know, food poisoning. When something doesn't agree with you or it's not cooked properly, then it could be pretty, pretty gnarly. But if it's not that, then you're like, you're purging. You could actually be throwing up. Or you could, you know, the other end. Or crying because we have the emotion here 
and you're releasing something very, very, very toxic. Some of you are literally cutting yourself from the devil's lair, from the devil's web. You know? But you fear it. You fear you fear the truth. Something's confirmation. Some of you are really are beside you. Some of y'all are gonna be very or will be very beside yourself if this hasn't already happened or is about to happen. You're gonna be beside yourself. Like you know, you're going to be beside yourself. Okay. Very, very upset. Very upset about some form of secrecy or fear. Something's going to make you afraid or you are already afraid of the truth. Something regarding the devil's web. Webbing or shit. It could be the internet because of the web, you know, being poured out. Something being purged, something being released or, or poured out. Again, be careful of things that you're eating. Make sure the meat's cooked properly. If, I'm not saying you're a bad cook, but, you know, just make sure you cook it to right temperature or whatever. If you go out to eat, make sure they do the same thing. Make sure everything's not expired. You know, shit happens like that. Sometimes it happens. You know, and then, like, sometimes there's just, like, a little stomach bug going around, you know. I think there actually might be one going around. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure in your area, but there, there actually might be. I mean, I don't know. You never know, especially if you got kids, you know, kind of, it just happens. So just take care of yourself, like stay hydrated and rested and like relax, like try to, don't try to fight it. If you got to throw up, it's not like I'm horrible at throwing up, I suck. I will fight it. And I just, I, I do it every time I tell myself next time I'm not going to do that. If I ever get sick again, I'm not going to do that, but I do every single time, and it's just a horrible experience. I get a nosebleed and everything. It's crazy. It's just, I suck at throwing up. Um, but I, I just, I feel like there's a need, and if it's not actually like, you're, 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 you're getting, you see that you are going to get clarity that something's very toxic, and it's going to promote or like urge you to purge maybe like you're going to clean out your phone you're going to clean out your closet you're going to clean out you know anything that you have of this person's you're going to clean out i don't know um if it's romantic you know you're going to like pack up their shit i don't know it's something it's something like that where you're just going to want to purge i'm telling you now you probably there's going to be a lot of crying there's something in you or in this situation that you don't want to face you are, you're afraid of facing it you're afraid of facing the truth about some form of toxicity either within this other person within yourself within the situation right and i'm not saying you're toxic you know but hey i mean we all have our shit you know you know what i'm saying i'm not judging you we all have our shit but it, it is going to you're going to see it but it's also i feel like it's going to you're going to you're going to purge a lot of toxicity you're going to cry. You're going to have, that's it. You're going to have the ugly cry. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the ugly cry. Y'all know when you cry so hard, like you almost like you're wailing because you're literally crying from your soul. You're crying a cry so deep and so like heart wrenching. You're almost wailing, if not actually wailing. You cry so hard from your soul, you actually throw up. That's purging. I feel like, and I'm not, I'm not wishing this on you. I'm not wishing this on you. So let me just put that out there. I'm not wishing it on you. But some of y'all need to. Hell, I, there's sometimes I need to. And I don't, I don't particularly enjoy it. But I cry like that. And then, I mean, it have, you know. If I let if I let my tears build up over some time, then I'll need a good session like that to really, you know, get it out of my system a little bit. You know, it's not good. To, it's not good, Cancer, to hold it all in. It's just not. It's not. It's it's really not. It sits there. You know what happens? It festers. You see this stuff? It festers. It becomes real toxic. Toxic within you. And I'm not saying you're toxic. My cat's on my table. I call her a little fat head. Her, her name is Zoe, but I call her cat, baby cat, juju cat, little fat head, 
<laughs> Our cat. I'm, she, I love her. I think she's a little obsessed with me. I'm a little obsessed with her. <laughs> I love cats. I love animals in general. But anyways, you see? You see this? This is what you're going to get rid of. That you've allowed. And I'm not judging you. Hey, I've been there. I understand it is not easy, but you're going to, you might throw up. You might. And if you do, that's okay. It's not fun. I'm not going to sit here and make it glamorous. And oh, it's so, that's kind of sometimes part of the spirit. This is, this is part of the spiritual side that a lot of people don't talk about. When you're really like purging toxicity in your life, you know, you, you take steps to get rid of like, you know, clutter, right? You get rid of certain people in your life. You clear out your friends list on Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, all that stuff, right? Then you start revamping yourself, right? You start doing the inner work. But no one talks about the ugly stuff. No one really talks about that on the spiritual side. That sometimes when you're really purging something, like that has really caused you a lot of emotional like turmoil or tr even trauma that sometimes you'll throw up or you'll you know you'll have diarrhea and purging when you're crying like that like from your soul when you're almost like wailing male or female doesn't matter you'll throw up oh yeah oh yeah sometimes when I, before I do like my spiritual bath, you know, I'll make sure I have a good cry. I mean, a real cry, like a real cry. Even if I really don't need to cry, I'll make sure I'm purging it out. Tears are cleansing. They're made of salt water, they're made of saline. They're cleansing. It's time. You're purging this bad boy right here this is a black widow this is a this is deep it's poisonous a i mean i don't know how many i know i know a black widow is venomous i don't know how many bites it would take to kill a human an, an adult i have no idea but i do know that you get enough of them bite you 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 will goner you're gone you're purging this venom this anger this that you've had this anger this hurt and you know what you know what anger is let me tell you what anger is well this is what okay this is just my perspective i'm not saying i know for sure i think anger personally is love is actually love that's been been wronged that's what i feel like anger is for most people maybe not everybody but that's how i feel about it anger for me I feel is love that's been wronged or that was never expressed that has turned sour you're purging that or the oh, yo this is about it okay it's about to get real deep it's about to get real deep you also might be purging the love and the anger and the hurt over the love that you never received and the apology that you will never get for that. And then moving on to forgiveness. That's deep. That's real deep. It's time. It's time. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Again, this could be you. This could be someone you're dealing with. Could even be both. You know, we as, you know, women... Male, female, gender, I generate, uh, you know, man, woman, you know, doesn't matter about gender, gender identity, purposes, orientation, right? Men need to cry too like that sometimes. But in our society, we make it so stigmatized for them, you know, sometimes they need to cry like that too to get it out. Like really, like really get it out. You have one, two... Three majors out of five cards. You have an ace. You have a, a regular card. Minor arcana. 
Let me get a little bit more. This is deep. And you feel like you fear this. You fear the truth. You fear either speaking the truth, hearing the truth, seeing the truth, experiencing the truth. I feel like you also fear purging the devil because it... I'm not judging you. Sometimes we get really comfortable with our own toxicity that it becomes our own fucking security blanket. Like anger, resentment, bitterness, um, uh, dismissiveness, defensiveness even maybe. That becomes like a security blanket. It's because it, it's what kept us safe at some point in our life. That's what you're, I feel like somebody here, you, somebody else, maybe both. That's what you're purging. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be very deep. Very deep. You're going to be fully, not, you're not going to be actually submerged in water. You're going to be very deeply, deeply in your very submerged in your deep, deep, deep chaotic emotions. And you fear this. You fear what you're going to find there. Oh, what you're going to find there is you're going to face your demons. That's shadow work. That's real, true blue shadow work. Best thing you can do is allow it to happen. And, you know, do things to care for yourself. Like, if you can eat, sometimes people can't. When they, when I'm kind of like a shadow sit tarot reader, like I'll shadow sit for you. Like if you're going through shadow work, I'll kind of sit with you. Kind of like how people will trip sit you. Like if someone's like tripping on something or whatever, you have like a trip sitter who's not and they babysit you to make sure you don't try to do something crazy. I've done that for people. I just like babysit them. <laughs> Just minding my own business, completely sober, watching people do their thing. Whatever. So, as long as, you know, they were safe. So, you got this. If you can eat, eat comfort food. Don't gorge yourself. Because, again, sometimes there's a bathroom concern. There's bathroom issues, like diarrhea, throwing up, things like that. So I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't gorge yourself. But eat things that make you feel, you know, comfort comfort food. Wear comfortable clothing. That people, don't, people don't understand the importance of that. Wear something very comfortable to you. Have a comfortable blanket, a blankie, something that makes you feel safe. Or a stuffed animal. Whatever works for you. Because what you're doing is you're facing the demons. Your own personal demons. You're getting to the little child. You're getting to your inner child. But first, you got to face all this shit first. You know? That's deep. It's not going to be easy. Mm -mm. This could be you. This could be someone else. Now, I do recommend if, you know, I'm not saying you need therapy, but I'm a big advocate for it, honestly. It really did a lot for me. It's done a lot for me. Maybe maybe work on this with a therapist. If not, then you've got to, you know, journal. That's a way to talk about it. But I would highly recommend ther therapy too, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, shit, we go to the dentist. We go to the doctor, right? We get physicals all the time. Why not go to, you know, get like a mental health checkup too every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in it. There's no shame. Mm -mm. And no one should ever make you feel bad. Because it takes great courage. It takes a brave heart. And a brave soul to go to therapy. It ain't easy. To... To really work through this. Because whomever I'm talking to is working through something pretty damn deep. We're talking about deep, deep. It's deep. You know? Okay. I don't think I'm going to do an extended on this one. It's pretty self-explanatory. I will get you some, some guidance though. Just know you will be okay. 
it will be okay. You will come out the other side. It's a journey. You're walking through the valley. You're walking through the valley. It's not easy, but you'll get there. I promise. I promise. And you're not alone. You're never alone. Never. Guidance for my cancers. Yeah. What I tell you, greet the darkness. When I, it's gonna be, I got chills, gonna make me cry. What did I just say? Greet the darkness. There ain't nothing wrong. Darkness doesn't mean bad, and lightness doesn't necessarily mean good. Sometimes we find our greatest nobility, our deepest, most truest self and compassion, our brightest light in the in the in the darkest of night. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're going to meet once you greet your darkness. Seriously. Ancestors kind of came out like this. So I think I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it up because it kind of came out. I'm not really sure. Kind of came out sideways. So I feel like you're going to talk with ancestors deep within you. Let me get the book. Love this deck. Hold on, let me find it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. We ready? Self inner truth where's that card where is it ace of swords your inner truth greet the darkness it says this is the poem right here it says here where the spine bends and the mouth quivers breathes the hidden the pieces that make you whole but cut deep with all their sharp edges. The truth. Here we go. <clears throat> Darkness. You might get a sense of terror from what you can't see, but not all hidden things are bad. There are many things that you cannot see that hold the secret to life, abundance, and renewal. Like the lotus flower that blooms from the darkness of muddy waters. There is beauty in the darkness for those who know where to look with their heart. I'm going to cry. <clears throat> you have pulled greet the darkness as a call to go deep into your dark corners. There, there are parts of you that are beautiful yet remain undiscovered. You must allow yourself to open to the unknown. You can do this by confronting old wounds, lost memories, feelings of shame, guilt, and disappointment. This is called shadow work. A practice that allows you to make friends with your demons rather than hide from them. What seems like a monster is really a lost part of you needing love and support. When feelings such as anger, resentment, and chaos come around, it is because those feelings are trying to protect you in the only way they know how. Anger only knows anger and can only offer its support in that way. Chaos only knows chaos. So that, so that is the only way it can get your attention. These feelings are trying to help you find the beautiful gems that are awaiting in the dark spaces of your being. Confront whatever feelings you have surrounding your situation. Allow those feelings to surface and face them without fear. Greet them and ask them how you can work together. Journal your meditative conversations with your dark parts. Within the, their words of advice, you will discover the lost or missing pieces of yourself. Cancer, greet the darkness.
ancestors. Key words, protection and guidance. The poem right here says, They hiss a quivering so deep only roots of your soil can lift the nakedness hidden within the vows made in the silence. An ancient chill walking upon the spine. <clears throat> your answers, your ancestors are always with you, protecting you. They watch over you and keep you from harm's way. They are present telling you that it is safe to go forward and you absolutely need to. You absolutely need to greet your darkness. You fill them with you. They also protect you from things you cannot see, like someone trying to put a hex on you or someone who is talking about you behind your back. These threats never make it to you because your ancestors have protected you without you having to ask. They want what is best for you and they love you unconditionally. Rest easy. You have chosen this card because you are being protected and guided even if you can't see how. Everything that has brought you here has been for a purpose. There is some lesson, blessing, or miracle in every situation you've ever faced, good or bad. Trust in those who watch over you. Know that there are thousands, maybe millions, of your ancestors who have walked before you, sharing their love, wisdom, and protection. Be sure to thank them because you wouldn't be here if they hadn't walked their hardships before you. Many have lived and died, laughed and suffered and sacrificed so that you can be here. Honor your ancestors by trusting them to watch over you. Call on them when you feel alone or afraid and give your fears to them, allowing them to hold you as you walk your path through life. As you greet the darkness, Cancer. May the Lord always bless you and keep you and bring you peace. You're going to be okay. I love you. Until next time.